Hi, everybody. So I'm Laura. I'm from Frontline SMS. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about what we've been doing um, in the last couple of years and what other people are doing with our software and humanitarian aid, but also bend your ear a bit about a couple of things that I think, as a technology provider, I could be working better on to, to really transform humanitarian aid for the better. So um, Frontline SMS is free and open source software with a really odd animation there we go, um, which um, allows you to turn a laptop and a mobile phone into um, a two-way messaging device. And it works best when nothing else does. All the black bits on that picture are places with no infrastructure and very little in the way of communications, but good mobile telephony in many places. In places like this, this is Kruger National Park in South Africa. And this is where our founder, Ken Banks, came up with the idea of putting SMS in the hands of community organizations so that they could organize for themselves to solve the social problems that they see. So frontline SMS is very simple. And again, it really focuses on this idea that if you can use SMS to organize, if you can process and manage that information in an easy to use way, then you can do anything. And this system works offline. So you just hook it up to a modem or a phone, and you've got a two-way messaging hub that doesn't need the internet. So what can you do? So you could send out health alerts, um, emergency alerts, there's a hurricane coming. You can send out market price information as a livelihoods intervention. But you can also interact. So you can turn radio from a one-way to a two-way medium. You can collect information about your program, or you can inform people. So the IOM in Pakistan were telling 1.2 million returnees who displaced by violence in the northwestern frontier province what they needed to do to get home. Um, this is one of our biggest deployments. Um, and again, it's by the agency themselves. We're working with an organization called InfoAid in the UK to help ActionAid to deploy frontline SMS to share market price information with pastoralists in northern Kenya. Um, so this is something we're trying to do. We're working directly with the agencies to help them think through and pilot some of these technologies. OCHA are doing something really interesting. In their um, Nairobi office, they're just using it to interact with their staff, to tell them security alerts, but to just remind them about reports. They're finding that SMS is a really easy way to get hold of people in East Africa. So what I'm thinking is I could be, more to be, to, I could be doing more to reach local responders, to be reaching not the big agencies, but the little ones, or the local ones, or the national ones. I could be putting this stuff in the hands of people who are first on the scene after an emergency. And I think the other thing I could be doing, this is awful, isn't it? But I'm putting it up there because this is one of my favorite slides. It's the whole disaster management cycle. And I think we focus in tech a lot on the first 48 hours to two months. What happens if you start looking at disaster preparedness, resilience, recovery, hazard mapping, and starting to help prepare people for emergencies? How do you help local responders and really sort of resource squeezed organizations to use this kind of stuff? For us, you have to make it usable. So that's what we've been working on this year. What you're about to see is a sneak preview of version two of Frontline SMS, which is coming out early next year. We've completely redesigned it from scratch. It's now very much more like an email metaphor. And you can see on the right there, those activities allow you to be taken through a walkthrough that lets you set up automatic information processing tools. It's very simple for now, but we think for small organizations, it could be transformative, particularly when our sector-specific projects are tailoring the software even more, say, for use in a community radio station. Um, we have also one that's focusing on moving value around, which might be of interest in terms of cash and voucher programming. So we'll have these versions of Frontline SMS interacting with plugins that extend and inform the platform and that sexy stuff at the top, I'm not allowed to talk about. And that picture is in no way a hint. I'll just leave it there. So I mean, really what I'm getting at is I think what I've done is come full circle. I need to do more to put frontline SMS in the hands of the last mile responders who are absolutely first there after an emergency. And I need to remember that it's not just the emergencies, the headline grabbing stuff where I should be focusing. I must be there earlier and be helping organizations to do disaster preparedness and to embed these tools in communities early on. Thanks. <laughs>